Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new here. My name's Leah and I thought that this week we could go through my planners from last week. I just thought it'd be a nicer idea than having to wait to record my plan with me's, which I really enjoy doing. Not all of them I record either, so um, but some uh, mainly because they're too boring to record. <laughs> um, and also there's a couple of things that I've been trying out and I wanted to show you. So let's take a look through my planners i've done so much this week and i have absolutely enjoyed it um i have started in my 2024 planners but some of them are ones that aren't dated and that's cool and um some don't need to be so let's start off i want to show you the two things that i've been playing with so i made an order to tinny and mia which is a netherland company and they um sent me this little free notebook with my order um this order was for my shop charter 81 and so i thought i would give this little a6 bullet journal a bit of a play with play and see how i felt so um i used a um i think it's say mckenzie on instagram this is sort of um how she does hers so i thought this would be really good inspiration um, and I did one on Monday and I did one on Thursday. So I did a couple of things and I just had a really good time with it. It was really nice to see it laid out this way. And doing a double spread in a A6, I thought was quite nice. So I really enjoyed playing around with the little bulleted notebook. So the order that I actually made was for these notebooks I've got three and I thought I'd test them out myself what I do is whenever I order a notebook or a planner or anything I always buy an extra one so that I can try it out and I can put things together can I just tell you these slim a5 bulleted notebooks are so good so um, firstly how beautiful is this little um, imagery on here and the silver stars is so nice uh, and then I've left this front page blank because I did this this week. I love it. I absolutely love how this looks. I don't know where this came from. I wasn't inspired by anybody. I just put it together myself. I've got these stickers from Colour Cafe. They do these transparent ones, but they're waterproof. I don't like them, I have to say. I don't think they're for me, but I bought them a while ago and um, I thought I'd use them up. So this is a weekly spread. It's for the weeks, actually, I believe, but I decided to use it here in this. Um, so we've got daily journaling in here and a bit of the blue is what's happening in the day, which I thought was quite good, just colour coding. I've done a mood tracker for the family, not for me. This is like how, how we felt in the day as it's gone on. I've done a sleep tracker. Oh, I didn't do my water. I forgot to add that in. So we are not so good on Sunday. Does anybody else find they fall off on a Sunday? But how cute is that? So I, because I do eight glasses of water and eight hours of sleep as my trackers, it's just easier to keep it on the same one and just color code it. And then it doesn't take up so much room. Um, and then I've got my tasks here, which are just the four things that I want to do this week. Um, I put Saturday and Sunday here because I don't really use them much. So I've had more room for my Monday to Friday. My to-do list here, the three things I want to do, like top three things, a priority. Then my meals, I just did my dinners. How nice is that? I love how this has worked out. So I am going to do another week. Um, it is just a matter of me copying what I've already done, sort of, because I don't actually journal. But I thought this was really cute. So I'm going to do another spread. Um, and what I might do is do a reel or a short or something doing that using stuff I've already got, basically. I thought that was a really good idea to use the things. So these two things were from, or these three things, that one, that one, that one. They were from my, um, oh gosh, pen pals. And then this, 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 and this are all from my Lauren Phelps Designs um what they called pet tape um as i said these are from color cafe these headers and stickers here and then this um december and november is from cute stickers only which i have linked down below as a oh, 
discount code because I'm on the PR team. And then I have this. I love this. These are like my neutral grids and I use them all the time. So I just use them like a little bit torn up just for deco. I always think it's so effective. I think it just looks so nice. Absolutely adore it. So I'm really, really happy with this. I think that looks so nice. So I might do a spread in here again. Um, like I say, I will be selling them in my shop soon. They're not ready yet, but they are coming. Um, so that is a slim, let me just show you what I mean by slim A5. So it's A5, but with about, I don't know, let's, let's measure it basically a5 but with um an inch an inch off the end so i love that it's actually two centimeters i like that size i wish i could have other notebooks in this size i think it's really nice hmm b5 slim size very into that okay so another one that is not dated but i have added into so this is my commonplace um it's just a slim uh, Wonderland 222 notebook and I have a key here. I actually changed the key because it was it's like neutral colours, but they were just so close together you couldn't tell. So um, I don't do lots of decoration at all, um, you know, and I know I'm just taking notes all the time. Um, there's a spoiler alert there, so I need to keep that hidden. But, excuse my nails, by the way, they're terrible. So I've just got to add in for next week. I'm just going to set up the, how it, as in, like, set up the format and the template for next week. But that is that. So I, um, that wasn't all last week, but it is an update from, I think, when people last saw it. So I put this is only an A6 one as well, like an A6 size. So that's that. Okay, so my week's work is here, but I will never show you in it, but that has been updated. I mean, it's always updated, but I keep it in the Motem cover. So, because I usually carry that one in my handbag, but all the rest stay at home. So we have my social media one, which is the one piece one. Um, this was last week's, how nice is this layout? I can't wait for it. Look, I've started it next week, and then I've got this one here. I love this. I don't need to do anything to it. I don't need it anything other than for functional um, stuff. And honestly, I love how this looks. So what I've done is I've got my YouTube and my Instagram, like what I need to do. So this is sort of my to-do tasks over here. And um, these are the inbox that I need to put over here. Um, anything I need to do and anything that I don't do, I will put over into next week. Um, and then any posts that I put up, I'll put here, any videos that I'll put up, but also videos that I have filmed and posts that I've taken photos of. So I've got that all there. I might do a new key, actually, because that's just a, a dotted um, bullet point. I might do a key for ones that I've actually taken a photograph of and then ones that I've posted. So I'll do that posted for Insta and I should put Insta posts and videos. So I might do that as well. Although some of them are reels. I don't know, actually, I might change it up a bit. Um, then I've put in things that I want to do for next week and things I can get done next week. And I also have my schedule here, which I need to update. So we've filmed, we've edited, we'd upload and that's gone on. That's published but they were scheduled, so that's fine. Excellent, so that's that. I'm really happy with that. Um, this is next week, so that is me ready for the week after. Loving that. And then, oh, this is my favorite planet of all time uh, for the family. So I have been using this. I'll show you exactly how I've been using it. So this is my um, monthly that I've been ticking off in here. Then I've used this for the holidays. So anything in green is the kids' holidays. Then I've got this as my, just literally just my planner. Like it's for everything that is for um, the kids and us. And then the same here, which I'll be able to look into and look forward. Any of the dots is when we've got all of the children with us because we co-parent. Um, and I'll be able to carry on doing that. And then, 
so happy with this. This is last week's spread. Oh, I can put this in now. Had a very good week. There we go. Um, these these are the family ones, like I did in that other one I showed you. This is the family mood tracker. Um, here's all of the like inbox again, weekly reminders, challenges, and highlights, and then any appointments. So that's worked really well. And then I've set it up for the following week. I'm really happy with this layout. It's so good. And then the final one is my self care planner, which I want to show you because I'm so happy with it now. So right, so I decorated the front more i had my sticker from cute stickers only in there i've done my about me page which i'm really happy with i've got my word of the year i've got my 10 achievable tasks i have finally done them which i'm really excited to share um and then i've got <laughs> when you're five and you want to play with your older sisters and that right and then we have the gratitude log, which I could only start on first. Look how beautiful this is for December. So nice. I have these little stamps from Hobonichi, which have been great, which I've been logging stuff. I do need to put the temperatures in, actually, because I've forgotten. Then we've got my weekly journal, which I just need to finish off here. But I love how this looks now. I love how the pages look in my journal they just make me so happy i love doing it this way i just feel like it's less pressure i don't have to put loads in so it's just really nice during the day just to add little bits that's great and that's just for me that's my journal then we have um so it's almost commonplace ish but it isn't so they're just notes that i want to you know keep in here um I've also done this, which is really important, but I wanted to keep it away from the kids, so it's in my self-care one. Um, and I did um, have them in the back as well. So I've got this that I need to complete. So this is my TBR, which will just be added to all the time. And then I've got a recipe that we had this week, which was dirty fries. And I did a little doodle of some fries. And then I have this, which is my London Gifties order. At both pages here. Um, and I'm going to write a little bit about Artifact and Terrier in this page. So although this is, you know, it's just for me, this is. Although it feels like it's like a family one, but it's because I don't want to do daily journaling. I'm really happy with this. I just think they all look so nice. I'm really happy with these pages. I always do this, you know, when I tell you about it, I always put my hand over it. I don't give you any chance to have a look at it. <laughs> so that's that. I do the same here. I drew these. I'm really proud of them. <laughs> so that was last week in my journal. I hope that's been fun. Um, let me know if you have enjoyed it. Oh, actually, we missed one. I've got this one, my A5. I totally forgot about my A5. Right, so... Um, I'll take you through the bits that I did. So I've got my word of the year. I've got my coffee index there. But then my actual thing was, so I've set that up actually, you would have seen that, my layout. And that's what, so I put a little highlight in the bottom, Monday to Friday. And this was great. This was a really good kit. This is the um, Cute Stickers Only kit, which I have spoken about already. I love this. I absolutely think this is, the best um, planner I've seen for a while. I'm really happy with it. Um, and it does take the kits for Hobonichi really well. I think they don't look silly in there at all. They look fine. And that was a worry for me, I'm not going to lie. It was really going to be a worry. So that is... I've got very children. It's fine. Yeah, I haven't done any journaling in here at all, but I don't need to. So that's everything in my journals for the week. Thank you so, so much for watching. Let me know if this is a video that you want to see in the future. Subscribe if you haven't already. Give it a thumbs up if you have enjoyed it. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.